Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and I'll be showing you today another video of how to use the Excel sheets that are available on the website. Um, we'll be showing you today the video, the Excel sheet uh, that's related to the pricing of forward contracts and particular related to fixed income securities and uh, this material appears in level 2 uh, as part of the derivative section. Um, the, the reading that's uh, posted on the website uh, and the link to it is available under the video shows you in details how to uh, apprise a forward contract that's written on a fixed income security. However, uh, I'll just show you here a quick uh, review of the most important formulas. So basically, we will be dealing with a bond uh, that's, um, that's issued today. We can assume that, sorry, that at this time it's issued today and then it has T days to expiration, so basically this is the expiration of the forward contract. However, the bond maturity has to come after the expiration, um, so uh, there is a remaining time between the expiration and the bond maturity, which we can refer to as Y, so which is the remaining time. So uh, the price of the bond uh, today is basically the, as you can see over here, it's referred to as B, which stands for bond. And this is the price today, and if it's a coupon bond, so and it's um, it has a maturity of T plus Y. So in order to price this bond, in order to price a forward sorry contract that's written on this bond, we will have to um, take into account the impact of the coupon income. Uh, it's a coupon paying bond, so we cannot ignore the present value of any um, intermediate cash flows. Um, so. In this case, we can use one of two methods into accounting it into the forward price. So we'd either uh, take the present value of the coupons and uh, pay attention here that, as you can see from the note over here, that we only deal with the coupons that are incurred of the life of the contract. Coupons beyond the life of the contract is not relevant for the analysis. So basically, any coupon that's being paid between 0 to T inclusive, so in this period, will be included in the um, uh, analysis. Uh, the remaining coupon pause over here are not relevant into determining the forward price that's going to occur over here. So we are trying to find the forward at this time, and therefore we can ignore any coupon that's being paid after that time. Into our, so we don't adjust the forward price for it, basically. So we can either take the present value of that, or we can find the forward, uh, the, sorry, the future value of uh, this, which is nothing more than the... Uh, present value compounded at the uh, right uh, interest rate or at the like, um, proper interest rate. So having done this, having calculated these figures, we'll move on to determine the forward price. And again, we can do it either using the subtracting it from the present value, or sort of subtract the present value from the current price, or we compound it, so basically we assume the normal forward rate that we use, and then remove the future value of it, which is nothing more than, again, if you take this outside the bracket and multiply present value by 1, point, 1 plus r to the power of t, you will only have the future value. So it's both um, formulas are simply a rearrangement of each other. Having found the forward price, we'll have to find the value of the contract at time t. If you would like to have the value of the contract at some specific at some time over here, as we know, the full value of at the beginning of the contract is zero. But then, if we move on in time, it's going to change. So the value of the contract will be some uh, at this at this point would be um, the current price at that time minus the present value of the remaining the uh, coupon interest uh, payments and subtract from that the, the the present value of the forward price. So again, if you would like to know exactly why all this is done, you refer to the reading that's available on the website. For now, I'll be showing you an example uh, that's being taken from the CFA curriculum. So I just scanned it and it appears in the reading. So I'll just show you how to use the Excel sheets in order to solve such an example. So an investor purchased a bond when it was originally issued at maturity of five years. The bond, uh, the bond, sorry, pays semi-annual coupons of fifty dollars. It's now one hundred fifty days into the contract, into the life story of the bond, and the investor wants to sell the bond the day after its fourth coupon. The first coupon occurs one eighty-one days after the issue. The second three sixty-five days, and the third five forty-seven days, and the fourth seven thirty days. So basically, now we are at one fifty days, and. The investor is willing to sell it in seven hundred and 
at 730 days. So basically, 730 minus 150 days from now, which is 580 days from now. At this point in time, uh, which is 150 days into the life of the bond, the price, this is the current price, 1010.25. The bond prices quoted here includes accord interest. At what price should the owner enter into a forward contract to sell the bond on the day after its fourth coupon and note that he would receive the fourth coupon. So basically it is relevant into the analysis. And we are assuming a risk free rate of 8%. Let's do it one by one. Let's do the first part and then we'll move to the second part. So we go to the Excel sheet and we enable the macro and we enter it over here. We have four coupons over the life of the contract and we have the current price 1010.25. The discount rate is eight, uh, sorry, it's right now it's 8% and then it changes 7%. So 8%. And the time for contract expiration is 581 divided by 365 so this is that time of expiration which is the difference between um, 730 minus 150 plus uh, 1 which is the current day so uh, the time yeah we'll stick to continuing the cash flow and then we'll uh, enter the uh, the valuation information. So here it should say insert coupon payment and the revised file says that but for now we will assume that it's a cash flow data. So the first coupon is 31 days from now so divide by 65. The second is 215 divided by 365. 397 divided by 365. 580 divided by 365 and then the coupon payment says 50, 50, 50, 50. And here we go. We have the price over here to be 929.76. And if you check with the um, curriculum, with the CFA curriculum, you will, you will have the same uh, information there. So now we'll move on to answer the valuation information. So we move forward 365 days uh, from now. So one uh, period from now, one year from now. And then we would like to find uh, the value. So we're assuming that the interest risk free rate has changed to 7%, and the new price of the bond is 1025.375. So we just want to know the value of the forward contract, and we'll ignore all the other information. So we'll just assume for now that we are trying to find the value of the contract. So at time one, and the bond price right now is uh, 1025.375. And the risk free rate has changed into basically 7%, 7%. Right now we see that the value of the contract, the value of the long position is 34.35, which is similar to the value you will find if you select, uh, if you read the um, material from the CFA curriculum. This is pretty much it about the file. If you have any questions, please make sure to email me on my website, on my email on the website. Uh, make sure to follow, subscribe, the, subscribe to the channel and to follow our blog in order to get notified about um, a new post. And make sure to follow us on our social networks in order to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening and have a good day.